We live in a very beautiful city, 43 miles of shoreline, the best park system in the country in my opinion. Tacoma, Washington, it's the third largest metropolis in the state. For years, it had a reputation as a polluted industrial city. But during the past two decades, Tacoma has seen a remarkable transformation. When you think of the history of a city like Tacoma, which has very deep industrial roots, the fact that we've evolved into one of the greenest cities in America is pretty outstanding. And we really consider our environmental assets something that we should be proud of. One such asset is parks. Established in 1907, Tacoma's park system helps preserve and protect those assets. We are a very vast system. We have nearly 3,000 acres of properties. For a city that is just about 200,000, it's really an amazing system that the citizens have invested in here. Tacoma's open spaces, its parks, and natural areas are beautiful places to play and more. A new study shows they are also an economic powerhouse, well worth the tax money spent on them. It takes investment to have parks. You have to have operations and maintenance. You have to, have, you have to spend money on parks. And what do you get for that value? The answer is simple, a lot. They encourage outdoor exercise, improving physical and mental health. Trees and other native vegetation reduce floodwater damage during storms. Forested areas retain far more water than impervious surfaces such as streets and parking lots. They also reduce erosion, improve air quality, and increase housing values. They are natural libraries, places where children can learn about wildlife and ecology. And the more we grow, the more intense our kind of urban development is, the more these places are so necessary. With an annual maintenance budget of $17 million, Tacoma's parks return $75 million worth of services. That's nearly $5 for every one the city spends. We understand that consumers are and should be savvy. And it's wonderful for us to be able to tell our story in a way that we know matters. And we're so glad that we have an opportunity to have some facts and figures and data uh, driving our decisions and showing them that they made a good investment. The new study was conducted by Earth Economics, a local nonprofit. We work with communities to help them identify their community assets, value them, and think about bringing in investment in those assets. I think it's fantastic to have this organization in Tacoma. We're really trying to make Tacoma a clean water hub. Dave Batker grew up in Tacoma. He studied ecological economics at Louisiana State University. In Louisiana, where hurricanes impacted areas, we realized that the natural systems, for instance, the wetlands, provide a tremendous amount of value for hurricane buffering. Batker and other ecological economists refer to assets like wetlands as natural capital. We usually think of capital as money and machinery, overlooking the value of nature. There are some things that nature provides that do have a price, like salmon provided, or the value of a gallon of drinking water. Other things, like hurricane protection of wetlands, don't have a price, they're not traded in markets, but they have a huge value. For example, forests in the Seattle and Tacoma watersheds filter drinking water. Natural capital assets provide what Batker calls ecosystem services. Another term is environmental benefits. These are really nature's gifts. Tacoma is finding that valuing, conserving, and restoring natural capital is a smart and frugal thing to do. Tacoma and Tacoma Metropolitan Parks were the first in the nation to do a study like this, looking at the full ecosystem services that parks provide. And uh, we feel it's a model for other parks around the country. We know that taxpayer resources are scarce, and if we are very smart about how we use our assets and how we're taking care of them, in the long run, we save money for our taxpayers, and that's a good thing for every city in America. 
makes good economic sense to pay attention to this suite of benefits that nature provides.